Hi, I'm Jessie Burton, and I'm the author of The House of Fortune, which is the sequel to The Miniaturist. I did not have this book in mind when I was writing The Miniaturist. The Miniaturist was an incredibly immersive, intense experience. I did not think <laughs> I would be writing any more of Nella's World at the time, and not for a few years after I finished it as well. There were other books I wanted to write, but I think what slowly began to happen was that I knew I wasn't finished with Nella, or more likely Nella wasn't finished with me. My favourite character in the House of Fortune is probably still Nella. Um, I do love all of them. I love them all for different reasons. It's actually quite difficult for me to say that because I like them and love them for different reasons. But I think because Nella is the through thread from the miniatures to the House of Fortune and she's 18 years older, she's older, not necessarily wiser, but she's so strong and she's so valiant and she's so willing to open her mind and heart to new things and to try her best that I can't help but root for her. I think the part that I'm most proud of in this book is probably actually finishing the book. It's not easy to write a novel and um, this one, I really wanted to do justice to Nella and Cornelia and Otto and Thea, who is her niece, uh, Nella's niece. And, and at the same time, I really wanted to move the action along and you know give them new scenarios and new circumstances and, and new fates. So it was both honouring those characters, but also um, developing them. And I think that's the sort of part I'm most proud of is, is the fact that I did that and that I managed to get to the end and write a full stop. <laughs> The most emotional part of the book was, I mean, it's its probably towards the end, really. I don't want to give anything away, but you know, when you've put your characters through the ringer again and um, they're emerging again, that is always quite hard and, um, and you sort of feel very proud of them. That's how I felt. My research process for The House of Fortune was quite similar to the miniaturist and I was quite lucky in the sense that I still had quite a lot of my research still in notebooks that I could refer to. I did go back to Amsterdam a couple of times to check a few things and to just sort of make sure I had got it you know just right but I think as well this book is much like the miniaturist it's kind of an impression of a period I'm not seeking to make it feel exactly as it was because none of us were there we don't know but it was again the same of looking at paintings looking at objects reading the right books about how people used to live and grieve and eat and all of those sort of things that we take very as normal whether they did it any differently to us so yeah it was the same same sort of business books mainly reading books I don't have, I always say this, I'll never write it again. I mean, you know, come and check with me in eight years time and I'll let you know. <laughs>